First on CBS this morning, Forbes is revealing its 16th annual Celebrity 100 list, covering a year of earnings going back to last June. At number five, Howard Stern with 95 million big ones. One Direction comes in fourth at 130 million. Katy Perry is a financial firework at 135 million. <laughs> well written. Yeah, cover girl, too. Manny Pacquiao is part of the one two punch from boxers earning 160 million, but Floyd Mayweather tops him again, coming in first with $300 million. Forbes senior editor with one of the coolest names ever, Zach O'Malley Greenberg, is here. I love that name, Zach. Yeah, Zach. O'Malley. There's a little Irish in there, it sounds like. Yeah, Zach little O'Malley everything. Greenberg. <laughs> so let's talk about Floyd and Manny. Did all of this come from that one fight? Uh, all the, these the bulk of it came from that one fight. And the amazing thing is that with that one fight alone, uh, Mayweather made the most that any athlete has ever made in a single year uh, by more than double. Wow, that's incredible. Last year, Beyonce and Jay-Z were at the top of the list. Now they're number 28 and 29. Why did they fall so far? What changed? Yeah, um, you know, they're still rocking. I mean, they're making yes, a ton of money. They're, uh, they're as popular yeah. as ever. They had a, a huge uh, tour, stadium tour together. Uh, but what changed a little bit was our methodology. So instead of looking at power, um, combining earnings with, you know, magazine covers and social media followers and things like that, we just went right for the money. So we're only looking, you know, we figured we're Forbes. We're just going to rank it by the money. This is what people know us for. This is what they want to know. And it changes things up just a little the bit. Money, but, yeah. but what they earn includes endorsements? Yeah, it includes everything. Uh, outside business ventures, touring, uh, record sales, which is a decreasingly uh, uh, sized piece of the pie, you know. You put Katy Perry on the cover. I was surprised that she beat out Taylor Swift. Yeah, she actually earned... Did that surprise you too? Uh, yeah, it did. Uh, but, you know, I think one of the things is looking at international touring, which is why a lot of the people here, a lot of the musicians are on the list. Uh, Katy Perry played over 125 show dates in our scoring period. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, you know, many, many more than Taylor Swift. And, and that was the main driver of her earnings. Actually, Katy Perry now makes the bulk of her money abroad. It was about 60% of all of her earnings came from overseas. So that's kind of a recurring theme throughout the list. It's people who can appeal to these broad audiences and then go out there and are touring all over the world. It is a good concept. Yeah. 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 Robert Downey Jr., number eight on this, the list this year, earning $80 million. Wow. Yeah, it's a combination of earnings on the back end of Avengers Age of Ultron mm -hmm. and, uh, and then the upfront payment for the uh, next Captain America movie. Uh, it's been a, an incredible franchise for him, and he's always kind of up in that range, but this is the best year he's had so far. Uh, among writers, James Patterson with earnings of $89 million. Who's going to be here He has week. a factory. Yeah. I saw his picture he's going to be here in, tomorrow, in the, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, unbelievable. Uh, you know, as a writer, I'm kind of jealous of the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the prolific nature. Uh, we'll see, you know, Ten books a year, something like that. Something I mean. for you to strive for, young man. <laughs> yes. But this is the other thing. You had Maria Sharapova on the list. Beating out Serena Williams, I was surprised Serena Williams was not on this list as top female athlete. She was very, very close. And, and one of the things about the way we do it year by year is, you know, a lot of it can come down to somebody, you know, won a tournament uh, a month before our scoring period or a month after, or you know, the, these little changes in things. Uh, you know, somebody took a two-month vacation to a one-month vacation. That can be the oh. difference between making the list and not making the list. Uh, when the cutoff is, you know, around 28, 29 million dollars, yeah. there are a ton of people around 27. Lewis oh, Hamilton made the list. Jim Parsons, right? Lewis Hamilton made the list. So oh, I was really glad to see Lewis Hamilton, right, right. a global athlete. Formula on One list. champion. That's yeah. right, 39 million dollars. Uh, he is one of 32 uh, non-Americans on the list, so it's about one third uh, international. We thought that was kind of cool for the global celebrity 100 yeah, list. Yeah, I like him. Thanks. Thank Great you, to Sam. have you. Very interesting.